My audience today is New York State legislators, executive directors of medical institutions, and the larger health and human services industry. My name is Danielle Sullivan, and I am here to speak today about early on screenings for developmental proficiency and deficiencies being identified and referred to by primary care physicians. I first off would like to thank the New York State Partners in Policymaking uh, Organization for the opportunity and the existence of such a type of program. Today I'd like to talk about the lack of connections or rather the sharing of resources and links to other professionals around developmental assessments and evaluations. Uh, my daughter was born a very happy, healthy baby, uh, and early on I had some concerns about her development and things that, you know, I saw other children who were her age doing that she wasn't doing. So I expressed concern to my primary care physician, and I kind of was told that, oh, she's a late bloomer, she's hitting other milestones, there's nothing to be worried about, she's just a late bloomer. And I mean, that term was used very uh, often. In, but I wasn't absolutely sure what that meant. Whereas, you know, if she was supposed to be hitting certain milestones at a certain level, um, you know, why weren't uh, we paying attention to the deficits, you know, along with that were, were really major as far as like her communication skills and things of that nature. Um, so I sought out, you know, some advice some, to some other, for some other friend professionals and, um, I was, you know, directed to use certain type of language to speak to my primary care physician to kind of warrant assessments or evaluation. So I went back and I, you know, requested in verbatim that I wanted to have a referral to a developmental pediatrician. And then, you know, my primary care physician made that happen. But if I had not known to say developmental pediatrician and that was what I needed the referral for, I more than likely would have, you know, continued to be told that uh, she was a late bloomer. Um, for the record, and as I've spoke to other families um, around this city of New York, they've also said that if the PCP uh, doesn't have any concerns on the child's development, um, and then the parent has no, you know, knowledge of to use such language or even what the milestones are that the child is supposed to hit, then um, you know the delays may persist, you know, um, and not be caught until early on, where they may become um, a little more severe or you know. A little more obvious and, and concerning. So some possible solutions that I have um, to hoping, you know, that other families won't go through what I went through is to support programs such as uh, early intervention, uh, the home visiting services who come in and work with young moms or just moms who've, you know, newly delivered babies uh, to making sure that their developmental delays are met. Um, or just to make sure that they hit the milestones, whether it's a delay or uh, it's a proficiency. Um, also, the health and um, hospital corporations, you know, making them aware that to use certain type of lingo or to make suggestions, you know, to families if they if there are concerns or to, um, you know, just support the initiative of an early on screening, uh, regardless if they feel that there are concerns, just, you know, to make sure that the child's hitting all milestones and there are no uh, delays. Also, uh, community school head starts and early childhood education centers if you know we would partner with them and they're those families that you know have their children at those institutions you know and let them know what the milestones are and maybe have the onset screening at those locations you know we can try to find out if the child needs any services early on enough or understand that you know this child is typically neurotypically developing or you know is is, is definitely on track um this would pre prevent a lot of services from being had uh later on in life um so with that said i would love uh i really appreciate the opportunity and i want to thank you for for your interest and attention and the opportunity to lend my voice and story to benefiting the supports for individuals uh, early who may be differently abled. Um, even just, you know, providing those supports to the families of neurotypically developing uh, children so that we understand that, you know, we can catch things, things early and, you know, help the children out, uh, help them get an early start on life uh, in being uh, supported in whatever manner that need be. Thank you.